What's your million dollar idea that you wish someone else would make happen because it never will if left up to you? Car Gnomes. It's just an overnight mechanic service that picks up your car while you sleep, changes the oil and whatever else, then has it back in your driveway in time for you to go to work in the morning. That's actually not a bad idea, issue is high cost. To find a mechanic willing to work at night, you have to pay him more, so I doubt a lot of people would be willing to pay up. They might. People pay more for stuff at a convenience store than they would at the supermarket. They know it's a higher price, but hey, it's convenient. An app that lets you fall asleep on trains and buses. It's linked to GPS and it triggers an alarm when you're one stop, less than half a mile away. It would be so useful, for me at least. Made this exact app, it was called Stop Alarm. Less than 1,000 downloads so we stopped supporting it pensive face. Go home Elon. You are drunk. This was legit my first thought upon reading this. A tilde gentleman's club, chicken joint called Strippin' Chicks and Chicken Strips. An allergen indicator strip, stick for food, so people with food allergies can double check their food when eating out at restaurants. It exists for certain foods, I read about it for gluten specifically but they said they had more in the works. The downside is that it cost about $10 to $15 per test. A movie production studio tycoon game. You get to hire actors, writers, schmooze with producers, purchase props and build sets, let the film be recorded then edit the hilarious results. Once it's finished you release it and hope it doesn't bomb in the theaters. It'd be fun if there was time progression, too, so you start in the 1890s making silent films and work your way up to modern cinema. Soundproof wallpaper. Diamonds are soundproof. Just make your wallpaper out of diamonds. Boom done. It would be too heavy, 1 kilogram of diamonds weighs like 15 kilograms. If you can find a way to cheaply extract potable water from the ocean you'll probably become the richest man on earth in the next few decades. Is desalinization expensive? Yes, horribly. Water is very stable and it takes a lot of energy to do anything with it. Even with a nuclear plant nearby, it is a large energy sink making it not very cost effective. Comfortable full body VR. In the works brother. Just wait a few more years man. Mobile fried chicken and biscuits place that is only open on Sundays outside of every damn Chick-fil-A. Call it chick fil B. A shower that once you feel you're clean enough, you press a button or something and it starts functioning like a fountain and recycling the water all the time you want so you can relax in the shower under the hot water for long periods of time without wasting large amounts of water. Dude, as someone who is a very long shower taker please make this a reality. I would totally buy it. If you don't make it I am going to have to because I need that in my life. A government department that specializes in streamlining other departments in order to cut down bureaucracy and improve efficiency. While they may attempt to save money they also have the power to increase budgets if deemed appropriate such as buying secondary monitors for staff or better printers. Do more with less, within reason, should be its motto. Too many business want to make more with less to maximize profits, and forgot to stay within what is reasonable, which ends up hurting their business on the middle to long run. Buying new computers each year is certainly a waste, for example, but keep using machines from 1980 is equally bad. So is asking a worker to do the work of three people with half the salary of one. I always thought there should be an insulated can, bottle where you could crack a seal and then shake it so the liquid inside would become hot. It could be soup or coffee or tea. I know there's some instant heat products that use iron to oxygen like in hot hands and those heaters in MREs but I've never seen what I'm thinking of. Edit, just to clarify, there would an outside insulated container, then a thin layer full of some heating element that's activated by oxygen, then the final product in the middle that would be warmed, heated. I think it's a neat idea but it would also be fairly wasteful. Windshield wipers wait for it, for glasses. As someone with glasses I can tell you this is a good idea. A connection among local food banks, homeless shelters, clothing giveaways, and other charity resources, one that could be accessed by the public and updated in real time. Example, Alice and her three kids are being abused by Alice's husband Bob, and need to leave the house. Forever. Alice could get online, on a library computer with a burner email account, and go to the website. 
She could answer a few questions about her predicament and be referred to the domestic violence shelter so her and her kids could have food and shelter for the next few days. Her case would also be referred to legal aid, the church down the street doing clothing giveaways, the moving company that doesn't charge for victims of domestic violence, and an organization that gives grants to people looking to rent apartments without that first, last month's rent. Then the domestic violence shelter could go on the website and mark that they have one adult bed and three child beds occupied, and only have X remaining. Another example, Dave the heroin addict just got kicked out of his house. He'd go online, find a shelter for the next few days, and also get referrals to rehab and Suboxone. If he took those referrals, the rehab and the Suboxone clinic would reduce their availability by one patient. I work at a medium-sized nonprofit. This is one of those great ideas that would work if the public wasn't so obsessed with overhead costs. We get skewered by auditors if ours goes above 15% we're usually around 13 and desperately need new hardware and extra staff that would make all of the work we do more efficient and more impactful but it would put us over that mark pretty quickly. I want a phone that gets nervous when I leave it behind and walk away from it. Like a toddler, if you walk away from a toddler in a shopping mall he'll get nervous and start going, mommy? Mommy, I want my phone to get that way if I leave it on a desk and walk away from it. I want it to get nervous and anxious and make a fuss. There are tons of apps that will help you find your phone once you lose it. How about something that will prevent you from losing it in the first place? Pebble watches used to have a notification if you got too far away from your phone. I'm sure someone can pretty easily program an app for Apple Watch and Android watches to do the same thing. You'd have to have a smart watch, but it'd work. Years ago I convinced a stock broker buddy of mine to buy as much Red Hat stock as possible on IPO I didn't have the cash at the time but I knew it would be big. He made way more selling it the day after the IPO than if he had waited 18 years when IBM bought it. I insisted he give me nothing for the information. Now I have an open invitation for me and my family to stay with him in the Caribbean anytime I want. A beer app. Ever go to a crowded bar and have to wait for the bartender to make 50 complicated drinks, and all you want is a beer? Well, there'd be an app, hardware combo, scan a code or whatever, and the kiosk blinks. Bartender knows you want beer A, B or C bartender brings it over, the tip is built in, and you get back to whatever you were doing. So the bartender might like it because they'll get the tip of one dollar or more, and not even have to interact with anyone. I have it all written out with all the details and it seems to make sense. Don't wanna give away all my secrets, but I know I'll never develop it. It's not a million dollar idea it just feels that valuable to me. I would like to develop an app that can take any recipe that you take a picture of or find on the internet read it and convert it into a visual recipe for children who don't know how to read yet. For example it'll take two teaspoons of butter and turn it into icons alongside the text spoon spoon butter I have a daughter who is autistic she doesn't read very well and has a hard time understanding verbal language but she understands pictures very well. Unfortunately visual recipes are very hard to come by and cumbersome to make on your own. I hand draw the ones we use but it would be really cool to have an app that did just that. Protein beer. Tap into that niche Jimbro market by making them think it's okay to drink more because protein. I've thought about this. Like bro, you're gonna drink a beer anyway. Drink mine, it has protein in it. But I don't think you could simply add protein powder to a beer and make it drinkable, so I dunno what you'd have to do, they make that high protein pasta though so maybe that's where success lies. Like make the beer using lentils or chickpeas and maybe we can make it taste decent? I had a million dollar idea once. A long time ago. It was a jump to conclusions mat. You see, there would be this mat that you would put on the floor. It would have different conclusions written on it that you could jump to. I never made it though because I'm not good at making physical things. Instead, I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. That's a terrible idea. Slightly smiling face. Voice controlled pet door. I would love nothing more than to be able to have a pet door that can open or close just by me shouting, Alexa, let the dog out, so I don't have to get up and do it myself. I swear, every time I get comfy on the couch and get about 10 minutes into a show or movie one of my dogs is standing by the back door wanting to be let out. Then, I have to do it all again 5 minutes later when they want in. 
My sister, who hates Alexa and Google Home devices and refuses to get one, says that when that comes out and she can afford it, she'll finally break down and allow one in her house. Make empty malls into mini cities. Large end stores, Sears, JC Penney and so on, are made into housing. There can be clubs, pharmacies, food, restaurants, and whatever. Plenty of parking and space for living or socializing. I posted this as a comment a few days ago, but it's still valid. It's about a grocery app website. Here's my wishlist version of this site app. It is a sign in based site where you can create a profile and list some items, specific items, that you buy regularly. You can go to the site, and at any moment it will tell you, within a set radius, where you can pick up that item least expensively, and maybe also Amazon. It could probably be just grocery items. So, say, I could put in, cans of Mountain Dew, and it would search the stores around me, sales, calculate any discounts like Redcard or store savings clubs, and give me the best per can price, or per ounce even. So say Target has a 24-pack for 6.99, but Publix has an amazing buy one get one for 3.99, obviously the Publix sale is the best that week. And in my personal dream world, it would also both send you alerts at certain price thresholds, as above, and allow you to enter your entire grocery list and show you which store is cheapest. Your order is $200 at Winn-Dixie and $230 at Publix. My dream app here is paid for by the stores, because they can see the items that are on everyone's list and use that to make sure they have those items in their store. I'm looking at you Win Dixie and your refusal to carry Rebel Creamery ice cream. I have tons. An alarm clock that emails your boss that you'll be out sick if you hit snooze more than five times. An app that interfaces with your phone, voice recognition that if starts ringing, if you call out, I'm coming, it will add five to six more rings before dropping to VM. A machine that records your dreams and allows you to play it back like a movie in your head. I know the Japanese have been working on something similar, but I would just like to see it happen sometime in my lifetime because I have crazy dreams I would love to experience again. The ability to leave a restaurant without having to wait for the waiter, ask for the check, wait for them to get it, put my card down, wait for them to pick it up and process it and come back, sign, then leave. How about we set it up so that I can just get up and leave? Laundry in like a half hour. Why do I have to block off like a half a day for this? It's 2020. Fix it. A solar powered box fan. Like one without a cord that you can take with you to a park or a sports game on a hot summer day. A giant machine the size of an entire home kitchen that replaces the kitchen entirely. It would be very expensive, marketed toward the rich, and is vertically integrated. It stores, cooks, plates food for you, and cleans the dishes. Only works with food bought through the company. You have to use the company's plates and silverware for compatibility reasons. So instead of having kitchen with a dishwasher, sink, stove, fridge, oven, microwave, etc., it's just this large monolithic chrome block with a touch screen. Food for it gets mailed to you weekly and you order the food through an app, site. When the food arrives, you simply put it in the storage part of the giant block. You go to the touch screen and select a dish, and because the food is packaged in a way relative to the giant device, the device pulls the food out of its fridge, cooks it in its oven, plates it, and spits the plate out at the end. 